Hello and welcome to my.homecampus.com.sg Well, in the previous lessons, we learned how to do division, what quotient and what uh, remainder meant. Let's solve this uh, problem on division and see if we understand everything correctly. Alright, so the question is, Jenny collected 630 postcards. She put the postcards equally into four albums. How many postcards did she put into each album and how many postcards were left? Okay, so let's uh, make our model first to understand the question. These are the postcards that Jenny had collected. They were 613 number. Now, she put the postcards equally into four albums. So each album would have the same number of postcards. And after she had put all the postcards equally into these four albums, there were some postcards that were left. Obviously, this number over here, that's the number of postcards that's left, has to be smaller than 4. So it can be either 0, which means there were no postcards left, or 1, or 2, or 3. Right? The remainder always has to be smaller than 4. Okay, so we have to find out first how many postcards she put into each album and how many postcards, if at all, were left. So we have to divide 630 by 4. Well, let's carry out the division. We know that we have to first divide the highest place value by 4. And the highest place in this case is the hundreds place. The digit in that place is 6. So we will divide 6 by 4. So we use our multiplication table of 4 for that. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Well, 6 obviously is between 4 and 8. 8 is just too big, so we go back to the previous row, which is 4 times 1 is 4. We put the 1 here. 4 times 1 gives us 4 and leaves a remainder of 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. Okay, so that's done. That's the first step, which gives us a quotient of 100 and there is a remainder of 200. Alright, the next step is to divide the tens. So we bring down the tens that we have, which is 3 tens. So altogether we now have 23 tens. Now we will divide 23 by 4. Again go back to the multiplication table, find where 23 can be placed. Well 23 can be placed between 20 and 24. Now 24 is just too big so we go one step back and we see that 4 times 5 gives us 20. So we put this 5 over here which tells us that 4 goes into 23 5 times. Well, 4 times 5 is 20, so there is a remainder of 3. So in the second step, when we divided 23 tens by 4, we got 5 tens, and there was a remainder of 3 tens. Lastly, we move on to the last step, which is to divide the ones. We bring down the ones. In this case, there are 0 ones, so altogether there are 30 ones. Now, 30 ones divided by 4. We go back to the multiplication table. We find where 30 can be placed. It can be placed between 28 and 32. 32 obviously again is too big. So we go one step back and find that 4 times 7 is 28. So we put 7 here. 4 times 7 is 28. 30 minus 28 gives us 2. And that's the end of your division. So finally you have 157 which is your quotient and 2 which is your remainder so 630 postcards when they are divided equally among four albums each album will have 157 postcards and there will be two postcards that will be left all right now sometimes people can make mistakes uh, while doing divisions so it's best to check your answer uh, by carrying out the steps backwards I'll show you what I mean. So what we do is we bring up our model diagram. Now we know that there are 157 postcards in each album, which is the quotient of the division. And there are two postcards that are left. That's the remainder from the division that we did just now. Okay, now to check your answer, you must check that if you added up all these or if you multiplied 157 by 4 and then added 2 to that would you get 630 which is the original number that we started with well let's find out so what we do is we multiply 157 by 4 let's see what answer we get well 7 times 4 is equal to 28 
You put the 8 here, carry the 2 over to the tens. 5 times 4 is 20. Add the 2 to that, you get 22. You put 2 here and carry the 2 over to the hundreds. 1 times 4 is 4. Add the 2, you get 4 plus 2 is 6. So that's 628. So that means that she put 628 postcards into the four albums altogether. And then there were two postcards that were left. So let's add the two postcards to that and we get 630. So yes, indeed, our answer is correct. We do get 630 postcards when we uh, go back and check our answers. So well, that's it. That also brings us to the end of this lesson. For more such questions, practice exercises and worksheets, log on to my.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.